echipa din Brazilia. A sosit delegația din India. Așteptăm echipa din Germania. Acum vine echipa din Kenya. Hi, my name is Ahmad Arif. I am from Cairo, Egypt. And of course, nothing is more important than Egypt than the pyramids, the monuments, pharaohs, <laughs> um. um Hi, I'm Alan from um, Germany. And I come from um, Leiderstadt. It's a very, very small town um, near Stuttgart. In April 2012, ministerial delegations from around the world came together in Bucharest for the 2012 Ministerial Conference and Third Bologna Policy Forum to discuss the future of higher education. SIS Catalyst took this opportunity to bring these high-level decision-makers in personal contact with those who are most affected by the decisions made concerning education and research, children and young people. SIS Catalyst, a European-funded project, is addressing the fundamental question of how we include children in the dialogue between science and society. It is based on the very simple idea that present decisions in science and education are significant for tomorrow's citizens, students and researchers, all of whom are, at present, still young people or children. By initiating the We Are The Future initiative as a side event to the Ministerial Conference, young people were given a voice and a face at this important event. This ambitious approach set an example of how young people can be included in educational change processes. After thorough preparation, SIS Catalyst gathered 20 young people from 13 countries and four continents in Bucharest, all representing different spheres of culture, experience and having different expectations. They had applied to take part in this delegation with their ideas, visions and hopes for education in Europe and globally. The young delegates came to Bucharest to get to know each other and to learn about the differences in the education systems in their respective home countries. In an intensive two-day workshop, they discussed passionately their thoughts and ideas on higher education and how their suggestions could be used to shape the future of education policy and practice. Thank you. The key ideas were then phrased as controversial questions, which the young people prepared for the members of the ministerial delegations. Keyword phrases were also printed on business cards as a reminder for the ministers and a message to take home with them. As one of the first officials to listen to their ideas, Austrian Federal Minister for Science and Research, Karl-Heinz Töchterle, met the We Are the Future delegation at eye level. In the course of a joint press event, he had, together with representatives from Romania, the opportunity of discussing with the delegates the current problems in education 
along with the visions and hopes of young people. Why in some of the universities um, there is corruption in admissions? Why? Often the ministers decide about us without knowing the real situation of school today. Right. Is there a way you could change the differences? Is there a way it could be changed? Minister Töchterle sums up his experience. The children or the young uh, uh, people are of course the future of Europe and the future of our countries. It's also the future for, uh, for the universities, and for the science and research there. How do you receive their question here? They were interesting? They, they, were, uh, they were amazing, they were uh, motivating and uh, I, I wonder about the competence and the, the, the knowledge of problems of, of education, of educational systems. It was fascinating. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Four of the 20 young delegates have been nominated by the We Are The Future group to act as their representatives during the ministerial meeting. They were on hand on both days of the official agenda to offer advice to the ministerial delegations. They were based directly in the Romanian Palace of Parliament, where the conference was held. At their stand, they had the unique opportunity of engaging in discussions with members of delegations from various countries and associations. Ignoring their tight appointment schedules, many of the officials took the time to stop by the We Are The Future stand and listen to what those young people had to say. After brief but nonetheless highly relevant debates with national representatives, the young people handed over their message cards with their advice to the decision makers to take home with them as a reminder of young people's ideas and thoughts. I expect that the ministers will do everything what we say, but I would be very, very grateful if they remembered it when they wanted to do some changes.